Hi everyone, I'm Philip. Uh, I'm a software architect at Reef. Welcome to the first video in a series of Reef tutorials called uh, Reef Academy, uh, where we'll be showing you how to use our ecosystem and tools to interact and build upon uh, the Reef blockchain. In this first tutorial, we're going to be showing you how to use Hardhat to interact and deploy contracts on the Reef chain. For those of you who don't know, Hardhat is an Ethereum development environment used to compile, deploy, test, and debug your Ethereum software. We have developed a customized version of this uh, to help you speed up your development and deployment of contracts using our own custom Hardhat Reef version. To start off this tutorial, uh, we will be needing to uh, create a Reef account or a Reef address per se. Uh, to do that, the, there are several ways, ways actually to do that, but the easiest way would be to download our Reef chain extension, which is available on the Chrome uh, store and the Mozilla Firefox add-on page. So as you can see here, I already have it open. Uh, this is our Reef chain extension and just click add to Chrome. For now, I have added it before, so uh, let's check it out. To add an account on our Reef uh, chain extension, just click on the big plus sign, right? And then what that will do, will, it will generate an address for you, which can be seen here, and it will uh, generate a 12 word mnemonic seed. Now, this seed is uh, what you need to keep safe because anyone with uh, access to this seed can, uh, you know, drain your account uh, or use it to interact with other contracts on your behalf, right? So you really want to keep this mnemonic uh, seed safe. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to just uh, keep it here in a notepad, but uh, for your convenience, uh, make sure you find somewhere safer than this, right? All right. So now, uh, once we have that seed, I don't know why it went away. There we go. So now, once we have that seed generated and that address, click I have saved my mnemonic safely and click on next step. Uh, then uh, you are prompted with this screen where you can choose where you should use your, um, where this uh, address can be used. You can allow use on any chain or you can specify Reef mainnet or Reef testnet exclusively. For the purposes of this tutorial, again, we're going to uh, use a Reef testnet only. Now we're going to add a name. This can be anything. This is used for you uh, only to differentiate uh, uh, some other accounts you may have on your uh, Reef chain extension or uh, how some apps uh, build on Reef can, uh, you know, call you. Uh, and then let's add a password for this account. Basically, you're going to use this password to sign transactions later on when you're interacting with uh, decentralized applications built on the Reef chain. So uh, then finally add the account with the generated seed by clicking this button here. And there we go. That's it. We now have an account on the Reef chain with this address and this name. Great. Before we jump into how to deploy uh, contracts and interact with them on the Reef chain, what we need to do is we need to have uh, some funds right on our wallet, and we have just the perfect thing for that. So for the Reef testnet network, uh, we can uh, go to the matrix.org room, uh, where uh, this is a, a Reef development chat room, where we have built a bot that will uh, give you some reef once you type the proper command. It's like a faucet, right? So let's type drip uh, space exclamation point drip space and then add our address which we want to receive some funds on. Press enter and then our bot will send you 1000 reef you can use only on the testnet, right? So this is only for development purposes. Great. There we go. Send me a uh, 1000 amount of reef. Great. Now, with that being said, we are all, all set. We have uh, an, a Reef account. We have some uh, uh, coins on it. So what we want to do is we want to actually proceed with the uh, implementation part, right? Uh, for this tutorial, what you will need to have is several prerequisites. You will need to have Git, which is a source uh, version control, right? Uh, you will need to have the node runtime for JavaScript and you will need to have a yarn package manager installed on your machine. To check if you have these installed, uh, you can go uh, in your, inside your terminal and uh, type node uh, dash dash version. If it outputs a version, you have it installed correctly. Uh, same with git, so git dash dash version, and same with yarn. So three of these uh, 
software packages we will need to proceed. If, if you do not have any of this, uh, these packages installed, I will provide you with links in the uh, description of this video where uh, there will be guides on how to install them on your machine. Great, with that being said, um, let's go into our hard hat uh, reef examples repository. You can find it on the reef uh, DeFi organization on GitHub, and this is open source as well. So what we want to do now uh, is this will be our starting point, uh, basically. Uh, we want to go inside here, inside this button that says code, and we want to copy this URL so we can download it on our machine. So inside, uh, you can go to whatever directory you would like and you write git clone and then paste the URL. This will in turn download all the source code into a folder called hardhat reef examples uh, in your current directory. So I've already done this, so let's enter that uh, directory. So cd hardhat reef examples. Once you're here, uh, you want to uh, run the command yarn, which will install all the uh, needed dependencies that uh, this source code depends on, right? So yarn, enter, you wait a bit and the dependencies are installed, which is great because now we can start working uh, with uh, deploying the contracts and, you know, interacting with them. Uh, great. But now that we have everything set up, let's take a look at the code. So. The code basically consists, and this is like a starter package for uh, deploying your contracts and you know interacting with them. Uh, it uh, consists of uh, two main uh, directories. One is contracts. Uh, let me zoom in here a bit. Uh, one is contracts and one is scripts. So in the contracts, you can find a lot of contracts that are like an example contract that you can deploy, play with, you know, uh, take a minute to learn them. Uh, etc and in the scripts uh, directory you can find the scripts used to deploy some of these contracts and interact with them for the purposes of this tutorial we're going to go with the simplest contract which is flipper.sol so flipper.sol is really simple it has two functions uh, one is the flip function which uh, sets the value to the opposite of the value and one is a get function that just returns the value uh, simple right uh, it takes one parameter on the when you deploy it, uh, an initial value, you can set it to true or false and then call flip to uh, set it to the opposite, right? Uh, that's it for the contract. It's really simple, not much uh, to look at here. Uh, let's take a look at the deploy.js. So in scripts uh, directory, in the flipper directory, we have this deploy.js script, which is a pre-made script to deploy this flipper contract. So if you click there, um, uh, this is the script, right? So before we jump into actually deploying uh, the, uh, the contract, we need to uh, tell Hardhat uh, who is the signer, who is the owner of this contract, right? Uh, from whom to deploy this contract. So what, to, to do that, we need to go in the hardhat.config.js file and here you can see uh, a big object, right? Which specifies all the networks. So one network is Reef. This is your local network. Uh, one is Reef uh, underscore testnet. Uh, this is the one we will de be deploying on. And one is Reef mainnet, same as Reef testnet, but you know, it's mainnet. Um, so inside of the Reef testnet uh, object, there's a seeds object, which is basically a key value mapping, right? And the key, is your uh, the name of your account so this can be anything it can be philip it can be whatever let's stick with the testnet underscore account now the value of this uh, key will be the seed we saved when we created our uh, reef account from the reef extension right so let's take that let's copy it and just put it here all right, great. So this in turn will uh, will tell uh, Hardhat that uh, I want to use uh, this account and I want to use this seed, you know, to verify that that account is mine. And we will be using this account to deploy and interact with contracts on the Reef testnet. Great. Now let's take a look at the deploy script once again. Uh, the first thing, uh, aside from requiring Hardhat as a package in the script, is you want to get the signer right by name. So that's the first function we're going to call and we're going to pass a string which corresponds to the same key that was in the hardhat.config.js. So right here, testnet underscore account in the deploy 
um, script testnet underscore account. So that will pull the signer from the hardhat config.js. Then uh, we want to get the contract factory. The first parameter will be the contract name, which hardhat pulls directly from the contracts directory. In this case, flipper, right? That's the contract name. And then the second argument we pass is uh, the signer in our case in this pre-made script is named Alice, but you can of course name it whatever you want. And then finally, for to deploy uh, the contract, you just call uh, flipper.deploy and pass the parameter which you want to uh, deploy with, which actually the contract expects in its constructor, right? So we're deploying with an initial value of false. Then we have some logs here, uh, which will show the uh, contract address once it's been deployed and the deploy transaction hash once it's been deployed, right? Finally, on line 21 here, uh, we're calling the flip function, right? On the contract, with, which will uh, flip the value. Uh, if it's true, it will be false and vice versa. And finally, we're logging the new value after the contract has interacted. So in here, in our uh, terminal, uh, let's write the uh, how let's write the the command to actually deploy this contract so the actual command is um yarn right uh hard hat run and then you specify uh, which uh, script you want uh, to execute uh, in our case we want to execute uh, the script inside scripts inside flipper and then deploy dot js now if you run this command like this uh, without any extra parameters, it will try to deploy on your local reef node. Uh, since we do not have any local reef nodes up at the moment, we're gonna obviously deploy to a reef testnet. To achieve that, we need to add an extra parameter. So dash dash network space, and then reef underscore test net, right? If you wanted to change this, you could deploy to reef mainnet and it would pull from the reef mainnet configuration, okay? Now let's uh, press enter and let hardhat do its thing. It will uh, compile the listed contract. It will connect to the um, reef uh, testnet RPC URL, and then it will try to deploy the contract there. Because we already have uh, some uh, reef on our account as previously, uh, we added some from the matrix chat. It will not throw in errors. If you do not have uh, if you skip that step, you do not have any reef, uh, this, uh, this script will fail because it takes a little bit of reef to actually deploy contracts, right? You write on the blockchain. Uh, all right, so that's done, great. You can, we can see the logs starting from here. So deploy done. And then our flipper contract address, which is this string here. Of course, you can see the hash as well and the confirmation, the nonce, etc. After that, we have uh, a log with the initial value and then when uh, the script tried to flip the value and when it successfully flipped the value so now the value is true right so for the next step let's get this address and save it somewhere safe well not safe but to to have easy access to it later on in this tutorial we're going to use it to actually interact with this contract so let's save it and then let's uh, go inside of the flip.js script, uh, which uh, is a script that will try to um, interact with our already deployed uh, contract uh, on the blockchain. So inside of the flipper address variable, let's delete this and add our uh, address from the contract we just deployed. So it should correspond to the address returned from the um, from the uh, previous script that we just ran, right? All right, so get signer by name, same as before, right? But instead of Alice, we need to specify uh, the key from our hard hat config.js. So in our case, it was, if you remember, testnet account. So let's grab that, put it right here, and that will get the signer from the testnet account. Great. And now the uh, new thing here in the script is we're not actually deploying a contract. We're not making a contract factory, but we're already getting a deployed contract uh, from the blockchain, right? So you can use get contract at uh, with the first argument being uh, the contract name, the second argument being the address of the deployed contract, and the third argument being the signer, which we specified 
right on line seven. Uh, that's all the setup that you might need to interact. And then finally, what's left is to actually interact with the contract. Uh, so once you have the contract assigned to a variable, it's really easy. You just call uh, flipper dot whatever function. In our case, it's flip. So we call this function here, right, from the contract. And we log new value after flip. Uh, that's it. Uh, to actually run uh, this script, it's you know it's really easy it's the same as before we just change the name of the deploy .js file to flip.js file since we're trying to target this file here we're trying to run that script uh, the parameter network uh, reef testnet stays right because we already deployed there so when we click enter here we wait for a bit uh, and then uh, hardhead will try to interact so current value it connected to the contract is true so this is the log here it flipped it, current new value after flip is false. So that's the simplest uh, setup and contract that you might need to interact with, uh, with, with a contract on the Reef testnet. Uh, in our uh, hardhead Reef examples, we have a lot of contracts here that you might take a look. And it, it's, it's a good practice to get, to, uh, you know, to get better, uh, to try to take a look at these contracts and write a script yourself to deploy them. Of course, different contracts will require different parameters passed into them while you're deploying them, but the actual setup of deploying the contract will be pretty much the same, right? And then the actual uh, interaction with the contract. And inside of the scripts directory, we have some other scripts for deploy and verify. So you can check that as well. We have uh, scripts for deploying ERC20 tokens on the Reef chain and then some integration tests, which you can check out. That would be it for this tutorial. Uh, we did a lot of things, so I don't want to overcomplicate things, right? Uh, we actually learned how to make an account on the Reef, uh, on the Reef chain, how to uh, make that account work only on Reef testnet. And then we learned how to use our faucet on the testnet to get some uh, funds on that account, uh, how to configure Arthat, right? And how to actually deploy and interact with contracts on the Reef testnet. So hopefully it was not too complex, too, too complex. And yeah, take it easy guys and good luck.